G'day, I'm Scuzz, welcome back to Grounded. Alright, so today we're going to get some more of these um, chips. So we're here, I've got my aquatic gear on, so we're going to go for a, a dip in the pond and access the, um, the chip that's down there. There might be an angry ant down here at me, that's right. So hopefully we can quickly smash these out, because... Um, that. So I think all the doors and that still remain unlocked because when we went to the hedge everything was unlocked still so hopefully it's just going to be a piece of piss and um, we can just go in there and uh, get what we need and probably scan up a few bugs on the way. It's marking locations. I don't know if we scan the uh, mosquitoes. Let me have a look. Where was it? Yeah, we've already scanned them. Okay. Alright, so there'll be stuff in the water here that we haven't scanned. Like this bad boy. Ted Polio. Oh, it's been a while since you've been in here. What's that? Oh, that's a log. Right, I hear you. Where are you? Yeah, scan that bad boy. Right, where's the other ones? There's two more. There's a boatman. You. And the water flea, I think. Right. Um, oh, and the goldfish. Now, where... Where was that entrance? It was down here somewhere. I've lost my entrance. Yeah, I hear you. I'm not having any... any bar of this. Anything interesting in here? No. No, I've lost my entrance. I knew there was an easy way in here. There's the dome, so we're a bit off. Ah, those guys as well. I think I've already scanned him. I'll just get over here for a sec. Come on. Lug, lug, lug. There we go. Fill up uh, Oxygen. Now this is all closed. Don't tell me I have to go through the long way. And open it up. Been a while since we killed one of those guys. Let's have a look, because I mean, I wonder if they've added anything new, because I think there was something down here. This is. Yeah, so we're going to have to go through the whole thing again by the looks of it. What a pain in the backside. What about this one? Is this one opened? This one's open. Turn it. Can't open that. Is, is there something around here that we can get to? No? Hmm. Again, as I said, it's been a while since we've been here. I thought we could go up here or something. That's alright. Oh, we can't do anything here. So we'll have to go the long way around. Open this door, here we go. That's not too much of an issue. Can I scan that bad boy? Nothing? Nah. Now the only thing is... I don't have any lanterns on me. That's the one thing I forgot to grab. So things might get dark, but we'll just quickly 
work our way through this. This shouldn't be too bad, actually. To me, it already looks a lot lighter in here anyway, and there'll probably be another... I've noticed is that like these weapons and stuff have respawned. I've got another one of those now. Oh, I mean, we could get some more resources while we're here. Actually, um, where is my shovel? Might grab some more of these while we're here. If I can see him. If I can't see him, I'm not going to bother. Does that mean we have to open the chest again? No, that looks like it's open. That looks like that's already open. Let's get that scale as well. So it's been a while since we've been down here. We needed some of these resources, so better grab them. I swear this used to be a lot darker. It could be that I've got my brightness settings up for you guys, so. Yep, so we've got to go back down here. Grab some more scales. Where'd you go? Give me that. Oh. Actually, let's get some oxygen. Alright, we're probably going to go turn all the switches on again, I would suspect. But yeah, I think the smart thing to do would be to get in here... Oh, it's a bit of a pain now. I didn't realise it's going to be here. I'm going to run out of oxygen. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, let's have a look. Is there anything... So we've got a... We've read all this before, so we don't worry about that. Now we've got to hit all the breakers again. Uh, these guys are back. Um. Jeez, oh, have I scanned you? Alright. So, hey, let me just um, put you there. What are they actually susceptible against? Da da. Aces, busty, salty. Okay, so we might be better off using that. Yep, so we know that. Oop, oh, we're not going to sleep. Grab that, grab that. Workbench, I don't think there's anything else here of value. Can't do anything with that yet. Alright. So we're going to go flick all these switches again. At least we know what we need to do. But I see there's lots of goodies here again. What's that? Yeah, let's grab all this stuff because. It's very rare that we go to the water and we, we need this stuff eventually. Keep our gear in good condition. Definitely going to grab the rope. What's we're not going to grab? I will grab that bad boy. Actually, I might be able to make some lanterns with this stuff we've got here. We might have everything we need to make some lanterns. That might be um, a go. 
Let's just have a look. All right, we're getting hungry. All right, let's uh, eat one of these. And drink one of these. All right, let's go to that workbench. So another one there, no. Oh, no, it's there. So where's the lanterns? Lanterns, lanterns, lanterns. Uh, torch? No. Slime lantern, there we go. Uh, so we need the stalks. Four of those and we can make one. That being said, I don't have any inventory my space. Just eat that. I know the rotten one will do for now, but that will break very quickly. I would like to have another one, just in case. Grab four of those. Grab that scale. Hell yeah. Alright, let's let's go make this torch. Alright, so that's well inventory's pretty full there, but that's alright. Uh where's the rotten one? There it is. We'll hang on to that one there. I remember where these are. I hope you guys remember where the switches are. So we're going to go hit the switches. They're not too bad. There's one literally just over here. Quick, quick, quick. Hit the switch. One over here. Ignore that guy for now. Trick is to follow the cable. Yeah. Alright, the next one's in here, and we're going to go get some oxygen for this one first. Yeah. Would have been interesting to see what the original design was for the lab light. Because that goes deep into the ground and stuff. Alright, so a roof full of oxygen. Alright, we're good to go. We've got the good helmet, so we're fine. I might put that away. No, I can't. Backpack's full again. Alright, so we've got to go in over here. Let me go down. I've got to wait for this water current to stop pushing. And then up here. And then around here. And then down here. And then we we'll flip this bad boy. Um, there's nothing else hiding down here. There used to be some molar or something there uh, looking pretty good looking pretty good I haven't come across any science down here yet so that's all right <clears throat> Oop. all right so we've got all those breakers now so we can go up into this bit here, which does open the rest of the, um, rest of the thing. Right, we're going to get this ready because we're going to need this. Put the shield on. I uh, can't open that one yet. Uh, not that way. Not you. Right, that takes us back to here. Where we can sleep. This one doesn't open yet. Hmm. 
from memory, I thought that one opened at the same time as these ones, but that's alright. Let's see what they've done, because they've probably changed a few things in here, I would suspect. Grab that stuff. Nothing to value there. Just so we can see our way through here, we've got to go down here. And where was it? Through here. Change that because we're on the water. And we don't need to go down there because that's where a molar was. Get rid of that guy because he's in our face. Alright, let's um, put you back on. Get this. Alright, let's grab some candy bars. Omnit Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, Science Division, log 88.06.23a. Finally, my genius is recognized. My ominous minders have requested a demonstration of the spacer. I do wonder how they even found out about it. No doubt it was the loose lips of that blabbing Klein. But perhaps his indiscretion has worked in my favor in this instance, and I will have the last... ...will prove that their many years of investment in me was not a mistake. <coughs> How it will feel to have them watch me in my moment of triumph. This is my entire career. Mission at last. Oh my god, so many of those guys. Give me that science. Alright, hang on, what, what have we got? No. We'll go you. Thank you. All right, so what did we just open? This one? Yeah, it was two we opened. We opened you, which goes back there, and I believe you go back. There was some science or something in there, I think, from memory, which we don't need. We just need the El Chippo. Another one of these guys in here? Yeah, there he is. Bonked his ass. Alright. Survey scanner. That's new, I think. <laughs> Resource analyzer, nothing new to analyze. Alright, let's go get the chip and probably stock up on some muscle sprouts while we're here as well, I reckon. Hmm. Alright, so we've got that open now. How much inventory space have we got? Let's see. Let's see. We need to. Um, so we want to stock up on some of these muscle sprouts while we're here. Grab as many as we can. Yeah, full. Uh, what can we get rid of? What can we get rid of that we don't really need? I mean, I, this here. We'll just get rid of that. These are more valuable than the spider silk. This is the only space you can get these, so I might as well grab them here. Yeah. 
two left. Um, screw you two. That'll do. All right, so we got that chip. Um, okay, so can we go this way now? This way, so this goes back outside to where we were before. Let's just get this equipped. Yep, so that's here. Now, I don't know if we can access this yet. See, I don't think this, this is quite done yet. Because I would like to, um, I'm just going to check, just to make sure they haven't added anything new here. Yeah, we still can't, still can't open that. Oh, there was a way in there, I can't remember. Was there was science or something in there? Sure there was. Yeah, let me just check that glass, make sure that glass isn't broken. Yeah, I remember there being something right there. Go away. Alright, we're getting bitten by something here. Ah, those guys. Yeah, more of a nuisance than anything, and I definitely did scan you guys. Yeah, okay. Quit your noises. Quit your noises. Hello there, Ted Polly. All right. So that was a successful run. What's that? Three o'clock in the uh, in the evening. All right. I'm going to head back to the base, um, offload my stuff, change my gear, and then we'll head over to Burgle. I'll bring you guys back uh, in a second. All right, we're back here at the old Burgle, mate, ready to hand in the chip. So here you go. What's this one give us? Okay. And it shows the space has suffered a catastrophic failure in the embiggening cell. The embiggening cell? The embiggening cell stores and regulates inner atomic energy transferred during the spacing expansion phase of the spacer. Put, it, put simply, it controls the rate of growth of the subject and prevents overexpansion, which would be quite messy. Ooh. Yes, um, if the subject's rate of growth is not precisely regulated, overexpansion will cause bioorganic subjects like you to pop like a gremlin in a microwave. Scientifically speaking. Go on. Good news, I have a spell, spare cell here. Bad news, it's empty. Empty? The embiggening cell must be filled with a special mixture. A cocktail, if you will. Another breakthrough invention by Dr. Tully. Hold please while I push the recipe for the embiggening cocktail to your scab. The processing. Computer alert. If error missing directory. The directory you attempted to copy does not exist. Cheese and fries. It appears the formula for the embiggening cocktail is not in memory. It must be one of the remaining super chips. We will need that recipe in order to fill the embiggening cell and send you home. I am sorry, it seems like the forces of nature are trying to keep you in this yard, but I believe you are here for a reason. When you feel re ready to retrieve another super chip, for me to see if we can piece together this puzzle. Alright. Questions? No, yeah, alright. A question about Dr. Tully. Well, there were 14 others, right, we, were, the others we all know that, alright. So we've got that. <laughs> So let's have a look here. So pawn chip unlocks. What's it doing? Science shops. What do we got here? There's some of these we, we didn't have. They were um, missing. Placement in beginning cells. Is that sharpened here? 
products, burger stuff, and all places, features. So I've always been curious what weapon is the best setup for underwater? Stabbing, so they don't like salty. What about these guys? They don't like salty either. And of course these guys don't really care. But it looks like salty diving build slashing and salty stabbing. So they're actually immune to stabbing. It's interesting. I'm not immune to it, they've got resistance against it. Okay, so, alright, but it looks like salt's the way to go. Um, what's that? Rubbish. Salt's the way to go for the uh, the spear, probably, or the uh, trident, which I don't have on me at the moment, anyway. Alright, alright, so, last thing we're going to do this episode is we're going to go make those few items that we've got left on the uh, quest there, the grubs. Grub Vest, the Red Ant Club, and the Grub Goggles, just to get some extra science points. I'll head back to the main base, and I'll bring you guys back in a second. Alright, we're back here. Uh, let's uh, just smash these out, because they're quick and easy ones to do, and I should have all the um, bits and pieces for them, so... Oh, I don't have that. They're all weevil, mate. Um, okay, alright, what about the Red Ant Club? We can make that, I'm pretty sure we can make that. Red Ant Club, where are you? There you are. Alright, so that's that quest done. Just chuck that bad boy in there. And the Grub Vest, hmm. Hopefully I don't need weevil meat to make that, but we'll have a look. Uh, grub vest. Yeah, we can make that. Done. Now, you. I've got a full set of that now. Put that in there, thank you. So we got the full set of that on that dummy, so we need to go get some um, weevil meat. I did have some, but I think I chucked it on. So I might have had it on here. Weevil roast. Yeah, I think it's on there. Can't cancel it, can I? No. God damn it. Alright, I might just leave the episode there and I'll do that one off camera. <laughs> we'll do that one off camera. Um, I wonder if we can make more um, heads now. Like, can we mount more heads on the wall? Is that something? Don't have any of the new critters? No. That's a shame. That's a shame. Alright. Alright, so in the next episode, I think we're going to go um, hit the haze. It actually looks like the haze has been turned off as well. So we've got to turn that... Um, sorry, the haze has been turned back on, I think. Because the uh, infected aren't getting around. I think that's what's happened. Um, so we'll have a look at that. In the next episode. Uh, ooh, red ants are annoyed at me. Does that mean they're going to attack? Can't peep you. Okay. Somehow I annoyed the red ants. No, I can't peep you? Okay. Alright, well that's going to have to wait until next episode anyway. So, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. If you liked the video, chuck us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey, 
you playing the patch? Do you like it? Um, yeah, we've still got plenty to check out. We've, we've still got to check out another one of those mixes again. Uh, and actually do it properly. I think we'll build a defense around it. I'm just worried that these ants are going to come get me now. Alright. Maybe they're not going to invade. Maybe they're just annoyed. I know there's certain levels that they get with you. Alright. So, yeah. We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.